story now. Not adhering to COVID-19 rules in your workplace might cost you a job. In separate cases, two workers have lost their jobs. That's due to the incorrect wearing of a mask and the other for going to work knowing he was a risk. Let's discuss the legal grounds for employers to take disciplinary action against employees during this pandemic. Independent labor lawyer Michael Bagram joins us now on the Midday View. Michael, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Say, I, I guess uh, it, 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 I, we've had these discussions before. Where do you draw the line? I mean, an employee might go to work work and not fully comply, I mean, are they putting their job at risk? What can an employer do? What is an employer supposed to do under these circumstances? Thank you. Yes, an employer, in both those circumstances, they are on the opposite ends of the scale. Obviously, in the first case that you mentioned is where an employee knew, in fact, that he had the symptoms. He also knew that he had been in touch with people that were tested positive. And then finally, he came back to work again after he had been tested positive. Now, that's risky behavior. In fact, uh, there was even a police communique at one stage within the police force that that could be even attempted murder. So that, that's really serious stuff. So if any employee has symptoms, has been in touch with someone that um, has, in fact, tested positive, and indeed, if they are tested positive, then they mustn't come to work because they're putting their job at risk, let alone everyone else's lives at risk. Can, a, can, a can, can an employee say, I didn't know that I can't go to work, I just tested today and positive, but I was not aware, my company didn't tell me that I shouldn't come. Can they, can they uh, 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 cite ignorance as a reason? No, because in fact it's been all over, not only all over the news, but all over the newspapers. Everyone knows that there's, you can't plead ignorance in circumstances of this nature. Everyone is aware of the pandemic. Maybe in March 2020, someone might have been able to say, listen, I had a slight cough, I thought I had flu, and I didn't know anything about this pandemic. I think it would be a strange individual indeed in South Africa today to say, I didn't know there was a pandemic going. So in this in case... Yeah, so in this case where you've tested positive, just stay away, isolate, follow the rules. The company can uh, charge you with reckless behavior or risky behavior, and they can uh, fire you. Yes, in fact, not can. I'd say they must, because you're putting the rest of your employees at risk. You're putting your customers at risk, everyone, people delivering. It, it's, it's a real risky situation, and in fact, now even more so in South Africa, because People are letting their guard down. It's, it's, it's a real problem. And so every single employee must know that they are a risk to the company. If they've got symptoms, even if it's just flu, if they've got symptoms, they must announce it. And then they must let the employer or the uh, medical supervisor of that particular employer find out and make that decision. And go for your test. Uh, you can't actually come in and put everyone at risk. The second case you were speaking yeah, before, about before, awesome. Yeah, before the second case, Michael, before the second case where there was a wearing of mask or not wearing of mask, on this case, just you, I'm, I'm glad you've mentioned the word flu there because we are into winter now. It's our flu season. And I've heard many people say, ah, ah, he flu, nah, he flu, ah, you know, like it's nothing. But we're living during a pandemic. So even if you have a flu, rather stay at home, rather be safe than sorry. And as you say, go for a test. I think that's the most responsible responsible thing uh, to do. And you are right as well, South Africans, we've become so lax now, relaxed. Uh, my colleague Avu Mtila this morning was at the Randbeck taxi rank and to cover the situation there. The taxi marshals and the officials of the taxi rank said they are battling to make their commuters to wear masks. People just refuse to wear a mask. Now, this case that we are talking about, the company got rid of the employee because they didn't wear a mask at work. Was the company within its rights as well in this case? Well, yes, I, look, there, as long as the company should put in rules. In fact, the Minister of Employment and Labor called almost a year ago for companies to implement a set of rules. And one of the rules was that you have to be masked when you are interacting with someone else. In other words, if you're in the same room or the same hall or in the same office, you must wear a mask. It's compulsory. It's, it's illegal. And in fact, to a certain extent, it's criminal not to wear your mask. So it doesn't matter whether you're in uh, uh, circumstances in a restaurant or in your, in your office or in a factory working with, with your fellow employees. 
you must wear the mask. So if you breach the rule, and the rule says that you could get dismissed, well, then that could be done. Um, in this particular instance, in a case that did come to the CCMA and eventually was decided that a dismissal in that case might have been a bit harsh because it was the first occasion. There was some confusion as to whether the person had to have a mask in those circumstances or not. I'm sitting here alone in my office speaking to you and I'm not wearing a mask because I'm alone. So obviously I don't need to wear a mask at this point, but if someone walks into the room then I should be taking the mask straight out of my pocket and putting it on my face. Those are the rules. And we know now, that those are the regulations. Now, Michael, you're very clear. So whose responsibility is in a company set up to make sure that employees know those rules, like in that case, that they thought dismissal was too harsh because the rules might not have been clear, the employee might not have understood. But in the general sense, does an organization have to regularly communicate with its employees and say, don't forget to wear a mask, physical distance, and sanitize, and make sanitizers available for its employees? Yeah, look, obviously we know that hand sanitizer must be available at all times. We know that factories and many offices supplied their masks to the employees in the first place. Again, a few sets. Um, I know that in my firm, for instance, we gave everyone five masks and asked them to keep them clean and to wear one all the time, a fresh one. And that is a rule. Now, the rule that should be repeated and it should be reiterated every now and again to the employees. And in fact, the minister asked for one person to become the point person to take control that to ensure that the workplace is safe and sound. Um, obviously, the employer takes a lot of risk because if I don't wear a mask, my employer at the end of the day might be attacked by one of my fellow employees to say, listen, Bagram is not wearing a mask. I'm now at risk. He coughed, and I'm now holding you as the employer responsible. And employers need to know that they have that responsibility. And bearing that responsibility, they in turn then must take disciplinary action and, if necessary, dismiss someone who is recalcitrant. People are getting mask fatigue, and I'm noticing it all over. If you go anywhere in town or anywhere on public transport, people are getting the fatigue. And people need to be reminded that we're now in the third wave. It hasn't gone away. I know that it's 16 months later, but we don't want to put anyone else's life at risk. If you want to put your own life at risk, well, it's not only your point anymore. Unfortunately, by putting your life at risk, you're putting someone else's life at risk. And we can't afford it. We cannot afford it as a country. The medical costs will be in, in exorbitant, and then you're putting risk on your employer. So in the employment circumstances, not only are you putting your job at risk, which is a very valuable asset today, as we all know, but you're also putting all your fellow workers at risk as well. So where the rules are clear and they've been articulated and disseminated, communicated at staff meetings via emails, internal newsletters, memos, posters on the wall, a, a lack or a breach of those rules in a workplace can lead to your dismissal. Well, I want to go one step further and say they will lead to your dismissal. If you've done it and, and you do it almost... Um, willfully, then it's going to lead to a dismissal. In certain circumstances, like in the circumstance we saw in one case, where the individual was initially sitting alone and then someone came in, they then dismissed that person and the CCMA said they've gone a little bit too far in those circumstances. So yes, you're right, there must be warnings all over the place. It should be, there should be posters up. People should be warned again when you come into the offices. Often when they're going to an office, when you come into EMCA, there's a big sign saying no mask, no entry. And, and that's the truth of the matter. There should be no mask, no entry. And if there is no mask and you do enter, then you run the risk of losing your job. Then you run the risk of, in fact, infecting someone else, even if you think you're not infected. It doesn't matter. You have to take that responsibility yourself to put on your mask. And in turn, your employer and the management have a responsibility to ensure that they watch you and that you do put on your mask. So we all rely on each other to ensure that we have a mask environment where no one can actually pass on the germ to the next person. We don't want the virus spreading. 
and it is unfortunately spreading again, despite what a lot of people think. And a lot of people say, well, it's now been, uh, we're all getting injections and uh, it's fine now, it's not spreading. It is spreading and we've got a third wave and that is putting your job at risk. And numbers speak for themselves. Comply with the rules and the, the, the regulations or you'll face dismissal. Thank you very much. There, Michael Bagram uh, talking to us. He's a labor lawyer about a couple of cases where people have lost their jobs. One tested positive and went to work, putting everybody at risk. They've been fired. Another one was at work and didn't put their mask on and risking and infecting people around because you don't actually know when you've got it until you're sick, obviously. So let's just do our part. But the labor lawyer there saying you comply, you breach, you are at risk of losing your job. Now,